We continue our coverage tonight of the deadly shooting on Michigan State University's campus as we hear from a professor who was teaching the class in Berkey Hall where the gunman first opened fire. He says he hopes sharing his story will bring about change. Two of the students in Marco Diaz Munoz's class were killed. NBC News sat down with him as he talked about what they went through that night. All of a sudden, I see, or we all see, someone standing in the back end door. And I see someone silvery. I cannot tell you, just I'm not familiar with weapons. And uh, uh, so it was someone metallic and just see like sparks and sh guns and shots and shots and shots. Um, I think when they saw the guy at the, at the, at the door, my students said, uh, 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 a shooter, saw everybody was already in panic. Some were, someone, some had stood up and frozen. Some of them threw themselves uh, on the floor under the, the seats. Some of them were kind of running towards the front end where I was standing. And this guy kept on shooting and shooting. I don't know, it seemed like an eternity because you, at that moment you don't know what time is. What's yeah. the first thing that comes back when you're asked to think about that night? What has been in my mind and haunting me the most is two specific students that I learned that, um, you know, passed, and my impotence and inability to do anything to help them. Um, Alexandra was one, Ariel was the other, and they just keep coming back, the images in my mind. Why the are you willing to be reliving this right now? Because I think the public needs, needs to know the horror I saw, not as entertainment, not as another thing to, you know, let's see what's happening in the news, but as a call to action. And in this sense, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Um, I think if the Senate and lawmakers of this country saw what I saw, they would be shamed into action, or their humanity be touched into action. And when you say so, action, you mean tighter changing gun laws? the laws. Tighter gun laws? Yes. Monday will be a week since this shooting. Mm -hmm. Monday is also the return to class. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be in front of a group of students again? I wasn't, but there's something, a part of me, the part that you just saw, the impassioned side of me that you saw, that wants to because those 12 minutes of horror brought us together as a community. Those kids now feel to me like my family. Mm. Because when you share something like that, it's, there's both sides. The horrible, you know, unexplainable, evil, and then there's the good side of humanity. Those kids that stayed helping their peers as an expression of the goodness of humanity. That was MSU professor Marco Diaz-Munoz.